returners. Knew he was going to have a good baseball team in 2005. He had several key returners from the 2004 team that went 57 and 8 and won three games at the Division II Championship Tournament. He brought in some top notch transfers to fill some key positions. But there was one position he decided to fill with a freshman. That freshman was Brian McBride. Ironically, coming out of high school in Humble, Texas, Brian said he had never heard of Central Missouri until Coach Hendrickson contacted him. But he said all it took was one visit to campus and he was ready to become a mule. He said it was a perfect fit. The mule's coaching staff obviously agreed. Once he was in that lineup, he rarely came out until he finished his career four years later. He made a good first impression, scoring the winning run in his first game in the Mule's 2005 season opener. He made an even greater impression over his outstanding four-year career. The MIAA has had a lot of great baseball players in its history, and Brian certainly is one of them. Seven years since his final season in 2008, Brian still holds the MIAA career records for most games played, most at-bats, most hits, most total bases, and most sacrifices. He claimed the Mule's career hits record on April 26, 2008 in a 10-4 win over Emporia State. Also in that senior season, in which he hit 373 with 93 hits, he never went more than two straight games the entire season without getting a hit. Brian currently works as a senior document control specialist for Wood Group Mustang in Katy, Texas. And I understand he's a pretty good competitive softball player in his spare time. Brian has a number of people he would like to thank for making it possible for him to become a Hall of Famer today. First and foremost, his parents. He wants to thank all of his coaches during his time at UCM. Carl Carswell, who recommended him to Coach Hendrickson. Dr. Glover and the UCM training staff, who helped him recover from some injury problems. UCM radio broadcasters, Sean Jones and Bob Jackson, who enabled friends and family members to follow his games on the radio when they couldn't be there in person. Athletic Director Jerry Hughes and UCM for giving him a chance to better himself as an athlete and a person. And finally, a thank you to all of his UCM teammates. As Brian said, baseball is a team sport, and without them, I would never have been able to make it to the Hall of Fame. Now let's enjoy a video tribute to Brian McBride. The thing I remember about Brian was he took everything with a smile on his face and I knew that uh, we would have a good relationship. I knew I could get on him when I needed to and I knew he would have the willingness to stand up for what he believes in. But my best impression of Brian came about four days into team activities and I remember going through a hot day of conditioning that morning and then going into practice for about 30 minutes. We had a workout and then we sat in the dugout for probably about four hours just visiting about the game of baseball and the thing that made Brian stand out there was that he made an impression that last forever when he reiterated questions or he asked me questions that that no player should have asked they, they shouldn't have been that intelligent about the game of baseball and uh, brian at that point i knew i had a shortstop a leader somebody that would uh, help us get back to the national championships you know central missouri has had such a great tradition of shortstops and i think that's kind of what the team was built on you know your defense up the middle and brian was one of the best defenders i've ever played with he had smoothest hands a great arm could you know do anything and everything to help pitchers out. Brian was a tremendous defender. He was a tremendous leader on the field. Things that needed to happen during the game, players could look to him, do what we needed him to do in a game. And his defense is what stood out to me. And then you look at the career offensive numbers, and you know, you're just blown away that most players wouldn't be able to accomplish in a short amount of time in 50 games a year what Brian was able to accomplish. With how good and how much the conference has improved over the years since he's been out of school, kind of shows how good of a player he was because there's a lot of good players, a lot of talented players in the conference now and even when I was playing growing up after Brian was gone. And it's very impressive the numbers that he put up, holding the hits record still. There's been a lot of guys in the conference that can just flat out hit the baseball. The game's played record, you know, for him to still hold that, it shows how coming in as a freshman he was the game wasn't too fast for him he was ready to go in and help the team win right away 
Brian has been one of the most influential guys at the University of Central Missouri in my opinion and that's because the legacy that he left hung around and visited with some of the guys and I think he helped me behind the scenes more than a lot of people would have taken time to do and so Brian Ranks is one of my all-time favorites, somebody that gave more to the program than, than probably he feels like he received and that's a good thing to leave that type of legacy. He was able to accomplish all those record setting, the baseball stats that put him here, but really I think it was Brian's internal drive to be great. Brian deserves it because he earned it, not because he's awarded with great stats, but because he earned it. I think Brian McBride deserves to be in the UCM Hall of Fame because much like many of the great baseball players before him that are in the Hall of Fame, he continued to carry on the legacy and the tradition that is Mules baseball, leaving his stamp on it with a trip to the College World Series his senior year in 2008 teaching us younger guys that, hey, this is what Mules Baseball is judged on. It's about going to the College World Series and competing for a national championship every year. Congratulations, Brian. I hope uh, you and your family enjoy this weekend and uh, everything. You should be very proud of, of your honors. I know all your teammates, your former teammates, are extremely proud to have played with you, and congratulations. Brian, uh, honored to be able to speak to you and to the Hall of Fame class today to say congratulations. Uh, you made an impact on my life that uh, I'll never forget and I'm almost in tears because I'm so proud of you and what you've done for Central Missouri and what you continue to do and I want to wish you the best of luck in life and know that uh, you'll have a special place in my heart and obviously now a special place at the University of Central Missouri. Congratulations.